Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So today we're looking at the JHMCS or the, the helmet mounted display. I just call it HMD because it's uh, easier. And um, it's used in conjunction with the Aim9X and potentially with radar guided missiles as well. So the first thing we're going to do is pop into uh, controls and because I'm not going to have time to really explain this very well on the fly. Uh, the buttons we're going to be using for this are cage, uncage, uh, the gun trigger to fire the missiles, select sidewinder to um, select the sidewinder obviously and uh, center control switch forward when it comes to uh, employing the radar so what is the helmet mounted display all about it's all about selecting a target and being able to fire a target way outside of the uh, traditional convoys of the hud so if we have a plane like an f-15 it's pretty advanced but it's you can't lock a target basically outside of the hud except for the mode where you uh, have a, a vertical line scan like that but even so it's, it's difficult with the hmd we get full control of being able to lock targets up so um, let's get going uh, what I'm using here is the training mission there are training missions for all of these things we're talking about this is the training mission in instant action that you can go from the menu for the helmet motor display uh, and the sidewinder so the first thing we're going to do is turn the system on with this knob here pion, and um, it allows us when we look away from the HUD to have this absolutely awesome display so that is going to follow wherever we go basically uh, and update now that's amazing because traditionally you have to look in the HUD um, and get your airspeed and your bearing and whatnot and your weapons information when the target is usually due to the dynamics of dogfight on your lift vector up here somewhere so it allows you to get the information up here so it's useful not even for employing the weapons but just for uh, orientating yourself and, and flying basically and it gives us this information here uh, we've got a uh, heading ribbon strip here so you can see that you've got an elevation deflection angle there plus 25 so that means I was plus 25 degrees up from zero your altitude, your uh, your airspeed, and your other gubbins here from the HUD. Okay, and now to actually use it uh, for weapons employment, first, there's two ways we can do it. We can employ the radar, that's one way, or we can do it just with the seeker head of the sidewinders. Um, and I should say, the, this helmet mounted uh, display is coupled with these sidewinders in particular, the Aim9X. What's special about them is that they can turn on extreme angles. Uh, they do that because they have a thrust vectoring system, I believe, at the back. Um, that allows them to fire and, and fire and turn right up to the kind of lift vector of the plane where you're going to be dogfighting a guy. So uh, that's the, the use of this helmet mount display and the M9X in tandem make it absolutely exceptional in a dogfight. Probably the best plane now, really. Right, okay, let's use the sight now and fire a uh, sidewinder. We're going to first of all use it in the non-radar mode, so let's set that going. First thing we're going to do is select our sidewinder and what I can point out is that there's now this circle here which is essentially uh, becomes the bullseye of the missile so we, we want to uh, maneuver so the hostile or I want to use my head sorry so the hostile is in that circle there then when they are I'm going to keep my finger on the cage uncage button until it locks onto them at which point I can release the cage uncage button and then just fire the missile as normal so let's just uh, get a guy above our A-frame there that'll do okay, press cage uncage and fire Let's see if that does any damage. And you can see how it, you can see how violently the missile kind of pitched up there, um, and we can fire up to huge angles, up to I think 90 degrees, i.e. up to lift vector, uh, which is uh, just amazing in a dogfight. Right now, let's look at the radar method of using the HMD. So this time, we'll press the sensor select up button, and we'll just press it very quickly. Um, and that will give us the low range method of, um, of locking a target, uh, I believe from zero to five miles. Otherwise, if we keep our finger on sensor select forward for uh, just over a second or so, then it will give us the high range um, mode where we can lock targets between, I think, five and ten miles. OK, uh, so let's give that a try. Right, so let's um, select our sidewinder. And the first thing we're going to do is press uh, sensor select forward. You can see it now it says H A. CQ. So this is, uh, I believe, the low range where it's looking between one and five miles. And if I were to hold, send select forward down and release, I did that for longer than I needed to. Uh, we've got long range HAQ uh, where we could search for the long range. Okay, we're going to do. We know these guys are close range. We're going to do uh, close range and uh, see if we can lock one up. We all have the confines of the radar to work with in this case. Okay. 
So we can see that it's got a radar lock because we've got a diamond, we've got IFF, and we've got all the extra stuff that the radar comes with. Now what I need to do is just put that outside the hard. Yes, yeah, so we've got the extra information that we uh, usually have with radar, uh, uh, closing velocity, range and whatnot, and we can still fire our, our missile uh, from this lock basically but also if the uh, this guy were further out it's going to allow us because we've got a radar lock to use our sparrows and our amrams as well let's take him out with a sidewinder stand by got him right um so that's um how to use it it takes bucket loads of practice it took me about 10 cuts to get that video done um, but I hope it helps and I'll see you later. I'm getting shot.